it's crazy. So the next large asteroid to hit us is likely going to hit us without warning. And, uh, and it isn't because we don't know how to deflect the thing. It's because we just don't know most of them are there. We've seen the damage even a small asteroid can bring. We know there are a million objects out there that could hit the Earth that are bigger than Chelyabinsk. So we have to figure out the best way to find them. Which is where SLU comes in. SLU is partnering with NASA in their Asteroid Grand Challenge. In the past, our members have imaged asteroid Apophis, Tutatis, and many others. Through our partnership with NASA, your observations will advance science, what we know about asteroids. It would really be great from NASA's perspective if the members of SLU and, and other amateur astronomers would try to get involved with uh, helping us helping us protect our own planet from, from incoming asteroids. It's likely we won't be discovering new asteroids as much as reacquiring them. So if an object is found by the professionals and they can, and it's very close to the Earth, so it's wide enough to be seen in, in the SLU telescopes, it would really be great if those telescopes would be used to observe that object and for instance, obtain a light curve showing how it rotates. Often, it's possible to gain a lot of info in a short amount of time. Asteroids tumble quickly. The time lapse you're looking at only covers 13 minutes. Experts like Morrison and Lou say we have the ability to mount a mission to nudge an asteroid away from Earth, if we only know it's there. The folks at SLU and other, uh, other observatories are finding a thousand near-Earth asteroids per year, which is a wonderful thing. The problem was, or the problem is, there's about a million of them, at least a million of them, that that are large enough to destroy a city that are out there, uh, and therefore, we're not gonna get there at our current rate. We expect the Grand Challenge will bring more concentrated asteroid activity to our SLU telescopes, because this is important. We're not doing statistics. We're trying to find and predict an individual impact so we have enough time to do, to respond to it, whether by evacuating the ground, ground zero area, or ultimately, being able to spend a spacecraft out and deflect the object. SLU members can help.